Hello guys and welcome to Hollywood Modeling. Um, today we will have another kit review. What a surprise. Um, this time an orange box by Cyber Hobby slash Dragon. Um, I know you might think, why would he buy orange box kits? They are reboxed old Imperial series kits that don't offer you anything. Well, in essence that's true. But sometimes, even with those old orange box kits, you actually get some value as they add figures and other stuff into their boxes. This time, um, in, a, uh, in addition to the kit, I actually got some, some more stuff that, that made that sweeten the pot. First I got this Sandback armor here from Panzer Art. This is really nice. And uh, from Panzer Art I got the mantlet with the canvas cover. So that sweetened the pot already. And then I think this is one of the better Cyber Hobby kits because first of all you get um, a total of five figures in the kit. It comes with this commander figure right here, and it comes with the set of the Africa Corps German, uh, I think it's Kubel Wagon Riders, but you can of course use them for anything else. Um, you can see here, once again, figures stuff. The kit number is uh, 9116. Sorry for the inverted camera here, I have no idea why it always does that to me. And um, here on the other side, we have some of the, the added on stuff that comes especially in this value kit here in uh, comparison and in contrast to the uh, Imperial series. We have a um, photo etched uh, jerry can rack and we have actually jerry cans in this kit, which is a bonus compared to other like normal dragon kits that just don't come with them. We have um, newly tooled and newly molded brake, uh, in brake air intake covers. We have the smoke rack for the back, and we have magic tracks, which was a big selling point for this kit as well. So let me just open the box, and then we'll take a look inside what we got there. Colored instruction sheet. I love them. Um, those are the typical value pack orange box instructions. They normally come like this. Um, normal dragon spur map um, with some, uh, yeah, a lot of spare parts for an orange box. I'm surprised by that. Um, they are, of course, the instructions are smaller than a normal dragon sheet. Like when you when you look at this, this is not like normal dragons would be like this big. Um, the instruction begin with has normal road wheels, return rollers, idlers, and sprocket. And then the um, instruction sheet tells you to take off a return roller and never replaces the return roller. Funny thing, that thing needs three return rollers, so don't take off the return roller. Just don't. Uh-uh. That's stupid. It might tell you to reposition it, but if it tries to do this, it does a really bad job of trying to tell you that. Um... Filling up the, the, the um, exhaust here, suspension system, magic tracks of course, which is something that the experienced modeler will do at the end. We build up the uh, top plate of the lower hull, um, continue to build it up, drill holes, cut stuff off, which is almost always nice. Oh, okay, cut a huge hole, mm, nice. Fill holes, cut holes, uh, yeah. Awesome. Um, the smoke rack for the back here. Fenders. Yeah, this is just a normal construction. At this point, of course, I will replace the two barrel, two piece barrel here with the the resin mantle that I have. The figure. I will show you the figure later. Uh, I have dubbed him the Hunchback of Notre Dame. You will see why. And of course our jerry can rack. And then we have the painting and marking options for two vehicles, actually the North Africa version and a Russia version. Actually that Russia version with exact those deck holes I've built for my um, Dawn of Disaster diorama uh, with the newer kit. It's the same deck holes. And then of course we have our uh, one, two, three, four figures here, plus the other one, five figures in total. Those four are usable. The other one, as I will show you in a second, you probably should not use. Um, 
decals are in one bag with the instructions. I'll show you the decals here shortly. Those are cartograph decals. They are actually really nice. And actually, this time, they haven't um, censored them in Germany. So you actually have the both the Africa palm tree. And you can can uh, put the, the SS rune on top. Which is nice. And two frets of photo edge. One uh, containing the... Oh my god, why am I having that? little light here. I have no idea. Guys, wait. I need to turn the artificial light on here. I hope that improves it a bit. Um, we have, of course, the uh, engine air intakes here and the Jerrican rack and the Jerrican accessory photo edge. Um, Lower hull. I'm not gonna take this out of a plastic because I know that the sound of plastic rustling makes some people go crazy. No, I'm just not taking the lower hull out of the plastic just here, right now. So let's open this for back here. Gotta keep an eye on the on the on my on my watch here because I have an appointment in a bit. So I might be rushing through this, but I still have a half an hour now. I think this is a half an hour review. Um, smells funny. Um, might be a re release agent that I have to take off here. Um, we start out with the fenders, top of the hull. Rear plate, that looks really nice. Front plate, where it tells me to cut out a huge hole, but it at least has, has it marked out in the back, so that aids in taking that hole out. That's okay. I can live with that. Um, front glasses. Um, and for a, I have to say, except for this part here, which has absolutely no surface detail because it's the wrong way around, whatever reason this thing is flipped over they all have nice surface detail and, and at least a little bit of like a rolled steel surface structure which for an imperial series you don't get always we have a turd roof does this have surface yes even that has structure that's really cool thank you dragon for an imperial series that looks like a really good mold we have the two-piece uh commander's cupola here which is lacking detail, so I might replace this with something out of the spare spin, but I'm not entirely sure just yet. Or if I'm building this out of the box, except for the resin parts. Um, as I said, two-piece gun barrel, uh, not as great as you'd like, but I have a replacement, and I think the 5cm KWK L43, um, or L40, I think it's L43, uh, I think you pay two, two euro 40 for a metal replacement, so it's not that expensive actually. Okay, everything looks really good except for the the padlocks on the turret bin which are non-existing and just like molded on plastic that doesn't look like padlocks. I have some replacement photo edge padlocks so I might just stack them, stack them on there. Actually I wanted to do this in less than 10 minutes. Well, haha, <laughs> good joke. Um. We have more turd bin covers, for whatever reason. And this sprue, after you see the age of this sprue here. Um, once again, there are some parts molded this way, other parts are molded that way. Uh, why? I have no idea. Um, the shovel, for example, when you look at this shovel, um, it is lacking every detail possible. So this will be replaced if this is the shovel I have to use here. And some mud and brush guards. This sprue here contains our jack um, turret hatches. Awesome, one piece turret hatches. Woo! Um, parts for the exhaust, the fire extinguisher, and the idler arms. Oh, yeah, here we have him the hunchback of Notre Dame. Or as I call yeah, I, I, I should rather call him the hunchback of Tunisia. 
but yeah, let's let's start out with our lovely hunchback. Um, I don't think humans should strike a pose like this. <laughs> He's totally crunched over, and um, he has the flattest. A oh my god, those legs are horrible too. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I I'll build him and do a uh, a funny dio with him. I don't know yet though. Oh, awesome. We have two-piece uh, turret hatches as well, so I'm not stuck with the one-piece hatches. But this turretman has the same padlock problem. And a turret. That's interesting. Why do I have a separate turret roof if I have a turret with a roof? Strange stuff happens. Um, yeah, as I said, the figure is not the best. I think you can do with it, but you need a lot of work on it to make it look acceptable. Um, another front plate, front glasses plate, spare wheel holder here, spare wheel caps, and the uh, covers for the engine, engine access hatches. Ah, that shovel looks much better than the first one. Ah, it comes with a scissors periscope, that's nice. Why would I use that? As I just blabbered to myself, this spur actually comes with a scissors periscope right there. Which I'm asking myself, what do we use this for? Um, we have of course our uh, top of the hull as a one piece thing. I've never seen that with Dragon, only you have like three uh, separate things. We have the, the front plate, we have the main fighting compartment, and then we have the uh, the back plate here, the engine deck, but this is a one-piece thing. Uh, I don't know whether or not that eases to the uh, assembly or it makes it more complicated. We will see once I start building that thing, I guess. Um, it's a Stuck hull, of course. It's a Stuck uh, sprue. As I said, the shovel on here has much better detail. Actually, it has some bolts on top, which the other did not. Nice sprue. Really nice. So you can see this kit kind of incorporates uh, multiple uh, levels of dragon molding quality, like the old Imperial series, uh, and then some newer, yay, spruce. So, yeah. Rope wheels, oh, nice. Uh, I love those, those uh, one piece uh, cast idlers. They are really nice. They, they add some, I don't know, some interest to the the vehicle. We have the tension arms, the bump stops, the, the uh, suspension arms here, sprocket, and the spare roll wheel. What's some nice detail here on top? That looks really cool. That will, that will look really cool once that's on there. That's really good. I think that will take a wash well. Uh, this is a double sprue, so no need for showing. Um, the jerry cans, I won't take them out. They are really nice. They have the writing on them, like water, 20 liters, Wehrmacht, really nice. Very cool. And they, as I said, they come with some, some footage to, to even super detail them even more. Also, a couple of small sprues here. Ah, the, the, okay. Talk about them in a second. First, they belong to the figures, which I will be talking to about in a second, too. <clears throat> okay, what are we got here? Um, strange looking pieces that I cannot identify. Ah, oh, okay, Stuck 4. Yes, this is, uh, these are parts for the Stuck 4. So, we will probably only use... I have no idea what we're gonna use. Maybe the jack, maybe parts for the jack, because the rest does not belong on a Panzer three. Um, rope wheels. Actually, nicely detailed rope wheels. I have to say, I'm really impressed. Sadly, it's the back side here has a really nice uh, connector point to the uh, to the idler arm here. That looks really cool. Of course, we have like multiples of those. Like, I think in essence, six of those, and then again, we have the nice cast sprocket, which in combination with the cast idler, 
will make this look really, really, really good. And then for the final screw of the kit, we have our smoke grenade launcher. Like, yeah, not your smoke grenade, but the smoke discharger pots that go in the back here. Um, this is a later dragon sprue because this is the value added sprue and of course it has the, the break air intakes here as well. And then of course a bag of, or two bags of handed magic tracks. Uh, again, white dragon doesn't always have the handed magic tracks for Panzer threes and fours. I have no clue whatsoever. Um, maybe they want you to put one on the wrong way. Uh, but those are handed and in different colors. So thank you for that, Dragon. And then, as I said, for the extra added figures here, those are Gen 1 Dragon figures. So they are not as highly detailed as the Gen 2 figures I showed you in my figure buying video last time, but they still are really nice figures. Um, the heads, of course, might need a bit of replacement. Um, there are some seam lines uh, that you have to uh, tackle and take care of. It actually gives you some livestock. It comes with a nice lizard here. That lizard is really cool. Really cool lizard. And uh, a dog. Um, the funny thing about the dog is it's a two-piece dog. So uh, you have to put those pieces together. So it will, will be a dog with a nice seam line down his spine. Overall, I have to say, those figures really look really good for the age they have. I think they are 1998 figure. So really good figures here. And then their accessory and food sprue. Actually yes, it's a food sprue because it comes with food can. Um food cans. Um this looks just as good. This is a lot there's a lot of flash on the sprue but the pieces look good. Even a little spoon here. A spoon nice Awesome, and the field cooker, you can actually see the uh, heating uh, devices for the field cooker. All right, let's sum this up. Considering the fact I paid $29.99 for this kit plus the resin, I'd say the kit cost me $19.99, if not less. Um, if you can get it around those 20 euros, really good kit. I could only recommend you guys getting this kit at that price. It is, um, as I said, it's a basic kit. It doesn't have a lot of the fancy photo edge that other kits might have, like the newer Dragon releases. Although the really new Dragon releases don't have that photo edge anymore. So, um, if you want to aftermarket the shit out of your kit, I'd say you could buy this one. Because this one gives you the base that you can then add all the aftermarket you want to to make it look stunning. And you don't have to pay like 40 to 50 euros for your kit anyway. If you want to build the kit out of the box and you want to have a stunning, like, really realistic kit, I wouldn't say go for this, but I would say go for, like, a newer Dragon release. If you want to build it out of the box and you want to have a ready-made diorama with figures, vehicle, and the only thing you need to take care of is the base, get this kit. It's a really cool kit. On the scale of uh, 1 to 10, I'd give this a solid 8. It has some age-related issues. But they are not as uh, big as I thought they'd be. So I give this an 8 out of a 10. And I will be building this soon, I guess. With the edit stuff here. Um, so thank you guys for watching this review. I hope this was helpful for you guys looking for a desertized Panzer 3. And uh, I see you guys around in my next video. This is Hot Modeling. Bye for now. Bye guys, and remember, the force is always with you.